Welcome to Piping Engineering World. Today we are going to learn about a clear explanation about pipe color code standard and piping color codes chart. Before we are going to start the video please click on the bell icon to subscribe us to get more updates about piping engineering. And also please join us on on Facebook and Telegram with below given links in description. Now let's begin the video. First of all let's know about why do we required pipe color code? Pipes are used in facilities to transport liquids and gases from one place to another, both short and long distances. Most facilities have dozens of pipes moving substances from place to place and because of this, it is important to be able to keep track of what is in each pipe and where it is going. This is where pipe color coding can become essential. More than that pipe markings save lives. If color codes are ignored, employees are at a higher risk of causing an accident. That may result in physical harm, as well as facility damage. For example, if someone opens a pipe that is not marked with the proper colors, he or she may expect clean water but get a toxic chemical. Pipe color coding is not a complicated process, especially if industry standards are used. There are many standards out there from a variety of sources, but by far the most popular is the ANSI and ASMEA 13.1 standard. This standard explains colors, text, size, and placement of pipe marking labels. Following this type of color coding standard makes it easy to offer training to employees and also helps ensure different departments within a facility are all using the same colors for their pipes. ASME and ANSI 13.1 Scheme for the Identification of Piping Systems BS 1710 Specification for Identification of Pipelines and Services IS 2379-4 Pipelines Identification Color Code PFIES 22 Is Recommended Practice for Color Coding of Piping Materials Now let's study the explanation about standards of ANSI and ASMEA 13.1 Pipe Color Code Basically in industries and factories in which piping system is available should familiarize themselves with the ANSI and ASMEA 13 pipe color code standard. Now let's see the main options for this set of standards. Yellow with black lettering. This color is used for any pipe that contains flammable and oxidizing liquids and gases in which fluids that are a vapor or produce vapors that can ignite and continue to burn in air this could include gasoline oils and many others green with white lettering using a green label with white lettering means that the pipe contains potable water it could be used for cooling feeding boilers or even going to drinking fountains or sinks blue with white lettering blue labels with white lettering are used for pipes that transport compressed air or vapor that does not fit a category above red with white lettering red labels with white lettering are used for all fire quenching fluids this could include water used in sprinkler and fur fighting piping system but only if the pipe is used just for fire quenching orange with black lettering orange labels with black lettering are for toxic or corrosive fluids or which will produce corrosive or toxic substances most acids will need to use this type of pipe marking brown with white lettering this option is for all combustible fluids these fluids that may burn but are not flammable 
Now let's talk about user-defined colors. The ANSI and ASMEA 13.1 Color codes for pipes also leave several color combinations for user-defined pipes. This is important because it allows facilities to plan out certain pipes that don't fit in with the normal standards. It is important to remember, however, that whenever using user-defined pipe markings, people who have not been sufficiently trained would not understand what they mean. The user-defined color options are purple with white lettering, white with black lettering, gray with white lettering, black with white lettering. Thanks for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe us for new updates about piping engineering.